With the picturesque San Gabriel Mountains in the background, a look at Dodger Stadium in Los Angeles. Today, it's the home opener for 2017 between the American League's Houston Astros and the Los Angeles Dodgers. It's time for Dodger baseball. Next. Here's a high foul ball as it finds a lucky fan in the upper deck for a souvenir. And he gets under this one as the ball is skied into very shallow right. Forsyth will stay with it as he backs up and puts it away. One gone. Batting second. Here's second the second baseman, baseman Jose Altuve. Jose he enters play Altuve. hitting in the 260s for the year. Shot fouled over towards the coaching box. Fooled him a bit as this is hit high in the air towards right center and shallow. Puig has a long run, but he takes charge for route number two. Batting third. At the plate, fielder. George Springer. First chance for George him here in the top of the first with nobody on. And he'll start the at bat with a slider that didn't miss by a whole lot. It's ball one. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2 0. From the windup, the 2 0 pitch. Swung on and missed. Outclassed by that fastball for a strike. The 2 and 1 on its way. To 2 and 2 now. Well, he got away with one right there. He hung a slider to this guy in the middle of the order and got away with it. You're feeling good about yourself right now. Outside in a full count, three and two.
swing and a high pop up back onto the outfield grass now. Turner has got it and the side is retired. And now is Yasiel Puig. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the Leading first. Off for the Dodgers. Right fielder. And he Did tries to hold back on the swing, Puig. but I think it would have been ruled a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. And a half swing here, but this is in there for a called strike two. And then that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah, stuff. Stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound, but it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it. But he does, and he really spotted that pitch. Andrew Tolles. Andrew Tolles comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. 1-0 count. Here it is. That one's going to find the seats. Strike one. Here's the one and one pitch. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. Uh, had him fooled as he swings through the curveball. Two down. Here's Corey Having Seager. Third. First cuts for him here with the bases open Corey and two Seager. away. No, and a ball one and oh. That's that wide two and oh. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hit hard towards the hole and that finds its way through for a base hit. And the two out base hit will bring in Justin Turner to bat next. Batting Digging court. in, Justin Third Turner. Baseman. He takes his Justin first cuts in this Turner. one with a man at first and two away. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. In the air now, out to right field. Reddick on the run. Uh-oh, he whips on it. He can't make the play as it hops over the wall, and that's a break for the defense as it's going to keep the runner from first from scoring. As a look, now the pitch. Adrian Gonzalez is in with two away as he takes a ball, 1-0. Now a fastball for a called strike. It's 1-1. One one. He appears to be having some issues with pitch command to start the game. He's dealing with two guys on, and that last pitch looked like a... And the third baseman is there to make the catch, and the inning is over. Stepping into the box, Evan Gattis. He'll Houston. lead things off Gattis. against Kenta Maeda. Evan Gattis. And he waves at a curveball there. No balls in a strike. The windup and the 0-1. Here's a swing and a high pop-up. And there's the first out. So coming to the plate, Carlos Correa. Hitting right at the one for four pace with a 250 batting average for the season. Popped high in the air. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. Stepping in is Josh right Reddick. Fielder. He's ready for Josh his first at Reddick. bat of this early season contest. Swing and that's hit out of play up into the plaza level. Reddick waiting and now the pitch. Drilled on the ground is short. Seeger is there. Throw on to the first baseman. Gonzalez will take care of him and the inning is over. Here's Jock Peterson now. He'll lead it off Leading against up Lance Dodgers. McCullers. Left fielder, Jock. Peterson. First pitch curveball swung on and missed. Strike one. Well, he's just two outs into his major league debut on the mound, and so far he doesn't seem nervous or like he's trying to do too much. That's easier said than done. And he goes the other way as this is hit high and deep out to straightaway left. Gone to lead off the inning. Into the box, Logan Forsythe, and he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. Hit to short. Throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. 
Patrick. Digging in the switch Young. hitter, Yasmani Grandal. One run in and one gone so far this inning. And this is taken outside for ball one. Into his windup, here comes the 1 0. 2 0 now. Well, I kind of wonder if he's not being as aggressive as he was before that home run. Hey, this is a guy that can burn you again, so I don't really blame him. Sitting 3 0 right here. I wouldn't be surprised to see him turn him loose and give him the green light. Belt high and right down the middle for a strike. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. And he will run this one down. A good read off the bat for the second out. Now with the play. Kenta Maeda, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Drops in a strike to start the at-bat. Nothing and one. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Well, he gave up that leadoff home run, and I thought, uh-oh, he's in trouble. But he's done a nice job bouncing back. Got two quick outs, and now he's got two strikes on this hitter. He's got a chance to get out of this unscathed the rest of the way. I like the call for the two strike changeup. You got to make a better pitch. He got away with one right there. Throw to first in plenty of time and the side is retired. Now to the plate. Yulieski Gurriel. Leading off Seven eight Astros. nine bottom of the order baseman, set to go here 10, in the third. Yulieski Gurriel. Hard hit ball to second. And there's the first hit of the game for Houston. And that'll bring up Batting the former eight. first rounder Third Alex Bregman. Two. And he is Alex. proving to be something of a non threat with a bat in his hands this year. The average isn't pretty. Yeah. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike. Nothing in one. You know what that ball's right down the middle. I think he was taking first pitch just really trying to measure it. 
Comes set and the 0 1. Liner toward right center, and that's in there. Base hit. And now they'll have runners at the corners to start off the inning. At the ninth, plate, Lance the McCullers, as he's got a chance Lance to tie this ball game up McCullers. with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. And he's squaring around here, but he can't connect one strike. Well, Matt, I expect him to square around at least one more time. Most pitchers here in this situation, they will bunt with two strikes if they need to. The 0-1, and he pops up the bunt attempt. The catch is made on the mound, and that's the first out. Here's Nori Aoki. 0 for 1 for him here Nori in this one. Aoki. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Now a bunt attempt here. And he'll just tag him for the out. Dangerous. Striding in once again, Jose Altuve. 0 for 1 here in the early Jose going. Altuve. Hot shot on the ground is short. Two is left. Seager. Throw will go to Adrian at first, and with it, the side is retired. At the plate, Yasiel Puig. He'll Leading start things out Dodgers. here in a tie ball game. Right fielder, Yasiel Altuve Puig. at second. Throws in time, and that's out number one. And that'll bring in the, the speedy left-handed hitter, Andrew Tolles, looking to put the ball Tolles. in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. He pops him up toward the left side of the infield, and that'll get down for a base hit. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Corey five. Seager, a base Stop. hit in his first Corey trip. Seager. Now a throw over, and the runner back safely. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Before the 0 1, he'll check on first. Throw is up the line as it gets away. The 0 and 1 delivery. Ah, and he pulled the string a bit too sharply there on a curveball as it's down around the shoe tops. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. And the changeup is way low that time. He's set, and the 2-1 pitch. And a fastball just a bit up. As a look, now the pitch. And that misses, ball four. So with one out, that'll at least set up the double play possibility here that could get them out of the inning. Third baseman, Justin, Justin Turner, Turner is in now as he watches a pitch for ball one. The 1-0 one delivery. Hard hit ball to second. And that's through into right field for a base hit. Holes. Rounds the corner and is headed home. The runner scores from second. And both runners will score as they've taken the lead here at 3-1. to one. Digging in to try it again, Adrian Gonzalez. They've got two already home in the inning and a potential third waiting in the wings only 90 feet away. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. Now a ball line softly down the right field line, but foul. Ready with the one and one. Takes a knee-high fastball. One ball, two strikes, count. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And there's a pitch Gonzalez takes, and we're back even at two and two. Struck him out. And now they'll likely need a base hit to get that runner home from third. Fielder number 31. Jock Peterson. Is Peterson. in with two away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. 0-1, oh, here's the pitch. Outside for a ball, one and one. Now an off-speed pitch that nearly ran in and got him. Set to deliver on two and one. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Springer has a read on it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Here's George Springer comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Center fielder, number four, George Springer. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Peterson ranging back at the track, but he can't get it as it's off the wall. And he is in to third with a leadoff triple. 
Evan Gaddis now, Evan. now standing in. Gaffer. He's 0 for Evan. 1 thus far. Gaffer. Here comes the first pitch. Way out in front. Here we are in the middle of the game, and he's 90% on the first pitch strike throwing strikes. 90%. Forget about it. You do that, you got no chance of hitting this guy. And boy, was he ever fooled on that pitch. It's 0-2 now. 0-2, here it comes. Swing and a miss at one in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Gaddis is retired, and there's one away. Ready for another chance? Carlos Correa. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. He's set and the pitch. Chopped weakly to the left. And indeed, he'll take only the out at first as the run comes in to score. Ready now, Josh Reddick. He'll try and start things over now with the bases empty and two away following the RBI ground ball. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1 0. Reddick waiting, and now the pitch. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Well, he fouls off that fastball right there, and you wonder does he love his fastball enough to come back with it three times in a row? Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. Throw on to the first baseman, Gonzalez will take care of him, and the inning. Digging in for his second at bat, Logan Forsythe. He'll lead things Dodgers. off here in this one second run contest. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Halfway to 100 pitches, here it is. Chased a low ball there, and he's quickly down in the count 0 and 2. That misses, says the home plate umpire. One and two. Where it misses, I'm not quite sure. Well, those were a couple of close pitches right there in the inner part of the zone. Hitters will tell you, pitches in that location are tough to do anything with. On the ground to third. And a base hit. So early trouble to lead off the inning. Here's the catcher, Yasmani Grandal. So far, 0 for 1 with a fly out. Here comes the first pitch. In there, and it's 0 and 1. And that misses one and one. And the reason he's working away so much here is because he's got that big hole on the right side of the infield to worry about. With the first baseman holding the runner on, it's always smart to pitch into the defense you have behind you. Hit back up the middle. And that's through for a base hit. Make him one for two in this one. 
Now batting, Kenta Maeda. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. And they indeed want the pitcher to move his runners as he puts this one down. Throw not in time at first, so the pitcher tries to give himself up, but instead he gets himself a base hit. Ready for another shot now. Yasiel Puig. Yeah, we thought we might be seeing the end of the road for the starter, but clearly he's still in there for at least one more hitter. Well, Matt, we'll see how this works out, but I think they figured with the righty coming up, it was worth sticking with him to keep the match. Advantage in their favor here. Here's the 0-1. And that changeup makes him jump, a swing and a miss. Boy, nothing more frustrating for the pitcher. You put the ball in play, and they kick it and get two errors behind you. Now you might think, i got to strike everybody out and take it on my own. That's when the game gets away well, from you. He's got to stay patient Better and expect them to catch the ball. Made a miss on the off-speed pitch that time. Yasiel Puig becomes the first out in the bottom of the fourth inning. Left it up in the zone, but it's a strike one and one. And the curveball bounces here, but a good job behind the plate to keep it at arm's length. The set and the two and one pitch. Good time to call the change as he swings and misses for strike two. Hit down the line at first, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Another two two offering. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that two two pitch there, but kind of overdid it with a Pitch that high, it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter. Here's the first pitch to him. Corey Seager is in for the third time here as he watches one that misses low. It's a ball and no strikes. Man, we're seeing some pitching right now. He's one out away from getting out of the woods in this nasty situation. Base is loaded, no outs. He gets the first two guys out, and he's this close. Let's see what happens with this batter, if he can get out of it. Well, nothing can make you question yourself on a mound more than three straight balls to a guy you know you should go right after. Sometimes you just lose the strike zone, and you don't know why. Justin Turner is at the plate now as he looks at strike one. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. The set and the one-one pitch. This ball's grounded foul. One and two, here it comes. A dangerous changeup to miss high with. It stayed out of the zone. Now a check swing, but that's in there for strike. Digging. Leading off for the Astros. First baseman, number 10, Yulianski Guriel. Hit on the ground out to short. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. In now, Alex Bregman, one for one after a single his first time up. Here's a curveball that runs outside. It's ball one. His pitch count is in a really good place at this point in the game. He's pounding the zone and getting first pitch outs just like he did on the last guy. We might see him work deep into this game if he keeps this up. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Swing and a flare hit toward right. There to make the play is Puig for route number two. Into the box the now. Lance McCullers Lance comes into this at bat. Over. One in the ball game. Marwin Gonzalez will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. 
Oh, oh, had him chopping at that one. It's nothing in one. I really like how he's getting ahead early in the count. He's pitching aggressively, and what that does, it holds the pitch count down. Now a sinker runs in on him a bit as he's got to step out of the way there. One and one, here it comes. On the ground, softly towards second. Forsythe takes it in. Throw will go to Adrian at first, and with it, the side is retired. Chris Davinsky is into the ball game now as he'll make his fifth appearance of the season here. Ready once again, Adrian Gonzalez. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Off the plate and away there, one ball, no strikes. Belt high and right down the middle for a strike. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Now a ball hit in the air, but in play perhaps down the line. And this will fall, but it's a foul ball. Here he comes again, one, two. And another foul ball. That's probably not what he wants to do with two strikes right there with the fastball. He is fortunate he just fouled it off. And there's a pitch oh, Gonzalez yeah. takes, and we're back even at two and two. Well, you talk about fighting. He's fouling balls off, fouling them off in the one-two count. He finally took a ball right there. I wonder if he feels more confident or he wants to keep swinging. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Another one sent foul. To third. Played on the backhand. Long throw. Got him. That is a terrific play. Here's Jock Peterson now. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. And this is low, ball one. Four runs, six hits. No errors for the Dodgers thus far. Now a check swing, but it's strike one anyway, says the home plate umpire. Squared that one up just a little late. Looked like the cut fastball there, and he got him to swing through it for the second out. Digging in and looking for more, Morgan Forsythe. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. Here's the pitch. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Aoki racing back but he has no chance to make the play it's off the wall and now he'll get into scoring position with two away now batting digging in Catherine. once again Yosmani Grandal Yosemite he's Grandal. one for two in the ball game and a change up here misses off the corner to start him out it's ball one well we'll give you a look there at the graphic he picks up double number two on the year that was a tough split right there. A splitter in the high 80s, when you're throwing that kind of a split with that kind of movement, you're reading it with the arm speed as a hitter. You think it's fastball, then it dips. And when it's coming in the 80s like that, you definitely read fastball out of the hand. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside three and two. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any so different. Barry, Definitely laboring 18. at the moment. Kenta Maeda stands in as he swings and misses for strike one. Here comes the 0-1. Hard hit to first. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over.
some action in the Dodger bullpen now as it appears they have both the lefty and a right hander up and throwing. Nori Aoki. Nori Aoki is in to start things off as he looks at a ball to start the inning 1 and 0. Well he's having a good amount of success here Dan even though he hasn't really gotten a ton of swings and misses. Yeah but for him Matt he's more pitch to contact kind of guy and obviously it's working so far and the way he pitches it really keeps his pitch count down. Fouled off again and now he's in a one and two hole. Ready on one and two. Swing and a soft liner. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So the Astros put a man aboard to get the inning underway. The Ready once again. Jose Altuve. Jose 0 for 2 Altuve. on his line thus far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And here's a ball hit in the air. We coming on. But he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Digging in to try it again. George Springer. One for two with a triple so far in this one. Has a look. Now the pitch. Hit the other way out toward right field. Puig's got a read on it. He's got it one away. Ready for another chance. Evan Gaddis. He comes Evan in 0 for 2 Gattis. thus far. First offering on its way. And who looks like he got the call there on the pitch inside. It's nothing in one. Boys we see the pitch count. It's hard to remember the last time we saw a guy pitch this efficiently. Yeah, Matt, it's incredible to watch him go after guys. He's forcing a lot of early contact, and they haven't done a whole lot with the balls they put in play against him. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. And here's one that misses to the Houston catcher. It's 2-1 and one now. Great chance right here as a hitter to be aggressive. You can pretty much count on a pitcher. He's trying to get back in the strike zone. And with two guys on base right here, it's time to grip it and rip it. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. Oh, you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out now, number two. Georgia, Carlos Correa. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Swing and a ball hit deep down the left field line, but that'll be a loud foul ball. Oh, I know he'd like to see that pitch again. Just out in front of it. Just wasn't able to keep it fair, but he saw it pretty good. Looking to wiggle out of this, here it is. Now a swing and a deep drive to left, and it ain't coming back. And out of here, and I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. Now the Dodgers get a right-hander up and throwing in their bullpen. Right fielder. Into the windup and the pitch. Josh Reddick is in for the third time as he swings and misses at that one. It's nothing in one. The windup and the 0-1. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Great change up there in the dirt for the third strike. Grandall gathers and that ends the inning. And now is Yasiel Puig. He'll lead it off as we start the home sixth. Fielder. Yes, Starts him out with a changeup for a strike. Hey, not a bad take there on that first pitch. Not a real good idea to go up there looking for a changeup to hit. Sometimes you just have to tip your cap. Here's the 0 and 2. Very weakly on the ground. And the leadoff man in the inning will get the job done here. It's an infield single. Ready for another shot now. Andrew Tolles. Leadoff man on base, and we'll see what they have in mind strategy wise here. There's the cut fastball, but it's low 1 0. Oh. Now, this is sprayed foul off to the left, and that'll even the count at 1 and 1. Weeg off for second. It swung on and missed the throw. Way late, and he's in there easily at second. Ready to deliver the one and two. Ball two. Set to deal on two and two. 
Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. But this will land untouched. He's ready with the 2-2 pitch. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. The batter number five. Riding in once up. again, Corey, Corey Seager. Seager. As he'll look to bring home that tying run from Whoa, second with a base hit into the outfield. And this is taken outside for ball one. And this Whoa, is just off the outside corner, ball two. Clearly staying away from him in this at bat with that runner in scoring position. Tells me they're trying to force him to reach for something and maybe roll over on it. Ready to deal. Here's the 2 1. Leaves a change up high for a strike. Looking for the K. Here's the pitch. And he'll hang in here as he reaches to foul this one away. Back to back change ups and fouled that one off right there. I don't think he's going to come back with the third one. I got to be thinking some other pitch is coming. Four runs, eight hits. No errors for the Dodgers thus far. And again, he's unable to keep it fair, but he's putting together quite a battle at the plate. Another foul ball, and this battle will continue. The 2-2 one more time. And he'll get to see another one. It'll be the 10th pitch of this at-bat. This is turning into quite an at-bat. There's five foul balls. He's seen a lot of pitches. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major foul bullet batting. that time. Third Two away. Trying to Just hold the lead. Here's runner. the delivery. In the air, out to right. On the move is Reddick. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Pedro Baez is on to pitch. Pitching for the Dodgers, number 52, Pedro Baez. Hit sharply toward the right side. Puig is there, one away. And that'll bring up the former first rounder Alex Bregman one for two on his line so far in the game now a swing and a miss took something off that one and it's strike one and now some action in that Dodger bullpen as a left hander has begun to get loose gets the fastball by him here and he's in control 0 and 2 0 and 2 count here's the pitch now a swing and a ball popped high in the air into foul territory behind first. And Gonzalez will tuck this one away for round number two. The pitcher number 47, Chris Devensky. Your Brian McCann please. will grab a bat and hit for, for the pitcher Houston, here. Number 16, Brian McCann. And that swung on and fouled straight back. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. A wave and a miss. A tick behind a good fastball. Oh, I think his eyes lit up when he saw that pitch coming up at his eye level. Yeah, good luck. But hey, a high fastball all of a sudden becomes really dangerous for a pitcher if it's not spotted above the zone. A little height difference makes all the difference. And this is fouled back and out of play. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Pitch on the way. This is on the ground over to first. The flip to the pitcher covering as that will retire the side. It's time for the tradition. Tony Sip is into the now ball game now as he'll make his fifth appearance of the season here. Tony Sipp. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Adrian Gonzalez. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. Behind a changeup, if you can imagine, for a strike. And that swung on and missed, so Adrian's a strikeout victim here, and there's one away. The left fielder, number 31. Jock Peterson, Peterson is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. Pitch on the way. Late decision to swing that time, and as a result, it's 0 2. 
Nothing in two count and the pitch. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. And here's a ball hit in the air. Oh and he misses it. Digging. In once again, Yosmani Grandal. He singled earlier, making him one for two to this point. And that misses for ball one. He's ready. Here's the 1 0. Ball two. Here he comes on 2 0. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Chop foul over towards the dugout. Working for the punch out and the offering and a half hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike and the inning is over. Chris Hatcher will come on now and he'll slide into the seventh spot in the lineup following the double switch. Chase Utley is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher spot hitting ninth now on the double switch. Number 26. And the ball is dropped. Oh, he got out in front of a change. He's looking for a fastball right there because he got the bat head so far out he was able to pull it. If that was a fastball, he might have kept it fair. Well, that got him in the rocking chair right now. A little change up, follow up with the fastball. He's a little late with that swing. I may go back with another change up. Here's the 0 and 2. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Now here's the pitch down the first baseline. But this will wind up foul. Still 0-2. That's four foul balls in a row. He's battling, no doubt. And a check swing here. They'll point down to the third base on fire, but no swing on that one. It's a ball one. Here's the one and two delivery. Lifted the other way to left center. On the move is Peterson. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Now with the. The second baseman, number 27, Jose Altuve. He's set. Here it comes. Swung on and missed. Outclassed by that fastball for a strike. When you're facing this good a hitter, man, that strike one becomes so important to get ahead with him and make him think about something else. Now you can control the at bat. A little bouncer. Throw on to Gonzalez, and that's out number two. It's George Springer. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Springer. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Leaves a slider up high, but it's taken for a strike. 0 oh and 1. Here it comes. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's 1 and 1. The pitch. Now a swing and a miss, and he's behind 1 and 2. And this is going to be a foul ball. Another 1 2 delivery. Throws him for strike three, and that.
fires the side. New coach Avery will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season. Scott Van Slyke will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. He'll lead it off for the boys in blue here in the eighth at Dodger Stadium. And a sinker's in there for a called strike, and he forges ahead, nothing in two. And the knuckle curve freezes him as he becomes out number one. The right fielder number is six. First offering on its way. And a good first pitch as he gets him to bounce one on the ground out towards second. And he'll whip this one over to first, and he gets his man for the second.
Striking out. For the Dodgers. Center fielder, Andrew. Here's the pitch. Andrew Tolles started to go around, but it's a called strike. 0 and 1. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball one. Slap hard the opposite way, and that'll get down for a two out single. The relay, not in time, and he's in there with a double. The batter number Here's five. Corey Seeger, a hit in two Corey tries Seager. so far. First pitch coming, here it is. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. 1 0 count, here it is. Takes a knee high fastball. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Line foul into the seats over the Dodger dugout. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. To two balls and two strikes now. That one missed, but if it's a strike, I don't know how you get the barrel of that pitch. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Back goes Reddick. And as Dodger fans have heard for years, she is out of here. Digging in now, Justin Turner. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. Here's a 1-0 cutter that's low, 2-0. 2-0 pitch on the way. And that pitch catches the inside corner. The 2-1 pitch. Favorable call in there for a strike. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strike out here? I think one of the keys, Matt, you want to try to initiate contact. The one thing you don't want to do, you don't want to run the count to three balls and two strikes. Whatever you want to throw, throw it over for a strike. Neither guy given in. Here's the next one. And he looks at one that misses. And that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out a wall. First pitch coming. Here it is. Adrian Gonzalez. The batter now as he looks at a ball. 1-0. A runner on first with two away. Fouled straight back. He's clearly looking to hit off the fastball and adjust. That's a pretty good swing after seeing two fastballs now in a row. And this one runs a little too far in. Ball two. Two balls and a strike. Here it is. There's that little sinker right over the outside corner. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. Has to fight to stay alive as this is fouled off to the right. Hit out towards second. Scooped up on the backhand. He'll go to Correa for the force, and that ends the inning. Kelly Jansen takes the ball now in inning number nine. Now pitching and batting in the fourth spot, number 74, Kenley Jansen. Now playing third base and batting in the seventh spot, number 14, P.K. Hernandez. Evan Gaddis is in to start things off here as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. Ready with the 0-1. Just a bit jumpy that time. Swung on and missed. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0-2 pitch. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Digging in and looking for more. Carlos Correa. He's working on a one for three thus far. And this is fouled back and out of play. Goodness. 0 oh and 2 now. You can't help but feel good about yourself when you make a hitter look like that. That swing was heinous. Swung on in the dirt for the third strike. Grandall has it, and he makes the throw to first. Correa. Is retired two down now. Right fielder. Into the box Josh now. Josh Reddick. Reddick. 
first two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out so we'll see if he can fare any better. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. Throw in time and the ball game is over. Well the man you see right there had a game to be proud of. He really came through when it mattered and he's our tops player of the game. Yeah, he came through with a multi-hit game, and more importantly, they were big hits. He was a key contributor.